on a pleasant good Wednesday morning. It's the 30th day of August 2023. It's going to be one more hot day today. It's been in the low to mid 90s the past couple days. Seeing our hottest days of the year so far. And today it's going to be like 92 for the high. Then 87 tomorrow and then 81 on Friday and upper 70s for the Labor Day holiday as we go from summer to autumn. But actually this is the end of our meteorological summer. So actually on Friday the 1st of September it becomes meteorological fall. But it's not officially fall yet until the 22nd. But in some parts of the country, it does start to feel like autumn already. But not here in SoCal. We still get our Indian summer, you know, our late summer heat waves and the Santa Ana winds and oh yes, wildfires too. Yeah, we get a lot of wildfires in September and October. And uh, Also, the Dodgers go for the sweep over the Arizona Diamondbacks. So their magic number is down to 18 right now. Because now the Giants have moved into second place as they've won three in a row. But yeah, the Giants might be a dark horse as they're trying to clinch the, the last wild card spot in the National League. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Dodgers try to go for the sweep over the Arizona Diamondbacks. And the Angels try to avoid the sweep against the Philadelphia Phillies. And yes, a, a handful of players are going to be designated for assignment and be placed on waivers for tomorrow, which have been a disaster for those players. We should have traded Shoei Otani instead. Yeah, Hunter Renfro is going to be gone. Plus a few, and Randall Gritchick. And yes, it has been a bust for the Angels this season. And yeah, they're likely going to miss the playoffs again, and they'll likely have a losing season again. And Phil Nevin, the manager, will likely be dismissed at the end of the season. Same thing could be said for Bob Melvin. As the San Diego Padres, you know, they're trying to keep their head above water, too. Yeah, it, it, it's been a bust for the Padres. Because fans were, you mean, you don't win on paper. And the Padres were predicted to win their division this year, and they're likely going to finish in fourth place. And uh, it's disappointing for their fans fans too I mean last year the Padres went to the National League Championship Series and now they're gonna miss the playoffs altogether and uh, let's hope the Reds avoid the sweep up in San Francisco and um, the Dodgers of course still trail the Braves by four games for best record in the National League but at least the Dodgers and Braves are gonna get a first round bye like last season but I hope it's a different result this season as the Dodgers and Braves, you know, they start tomorrow and it might be an NLCS preview. And we expect the Dodgers and Braves to go deep this postseason or this year, actually. Meanwhile, the Orioles had the best record in the American League. However, Tampa Bay is creeping up on them. And the American League West division is really tight right now and it's almost like in a three-way tie even though the Angels and A's are not going to make it and are most likely eliminated. I picked Seattle to win the AL West and I hope the Astros miss the playoffs but unfortunately they're likely going to reach the playoffs for the seventh straight year and eight, and, eight, and eight out of nine and since joining the American League, you know, they've been a powerhouse in the AL West. Yeah, if they would have stayed in the National League, that honor would have gone to the Angels or maybe the A's or possibly Texas. And uh, 
Of course, the Central Division's weak for both of them. Um, yeah, the Minnesota Twins and the Milwaukee Brewers will likely be the three seed. Of course, we know that the Dodgers and Braves are going to get a bye. And the uh, Orioles will likely get a bye, or possibly Tampa, we'll see. And for the American League West, uh, one of those three teams will, will, will get a bye. Uh, well, happy birthday is going out to uh, Cliff Lee, Ted Williams, and to uh, Adam Wainwright, the late Ted Williams. Also to John Sermon and Gerald Albright as well. And to Cameron Diaz. Um, I hope you all have a great Wednesday. And uh, go Dodgers. Also, um, go Phillies, go Padres. I mean, go Phillies, go Cardinals, and go Reds. And, and go Red Sox, too, because they're playing the Astros. Amen.